Welcome back to part two of how to enable a payment processor and create payment plans. Now in this video, I'm going to walk you through something that I didn't talk about in the first video. I'm going to teach you how to enable membership levels. This is an advanced tactic and allows you to sell people into different levels of access. For example, maybe you could create a gold plan that only has access to certain courses. And then maybe you want to create a silver plan that only has access to other courses. Well, in this video, you're going to learn how to do that by creating membership levels that only give people access to certain content that you specify. To do that, log into your site owner control panel. Once again, go to the payment options tab and then scroll down to the bottom and there's a hidden little checkbox that says show advanced options. Enable this to unlock hidden options available to you like the ability to create membership levels and product upsells. So we're going to go ahead and check this box. And if we scroll back up, you'll see we have a new hidden option that's now available to us. Let's click on this option. And this will take us to the section where we can create different membership levels. So by default, there's a course, or I'm sorry, a membership level that includes all courses, all blog categories, and all add-ons. This is your default membership level that comes standard. There's no way to remove it. And by default, everyone gets thrown into this membership level automatically. It gives your users access to everything that's in your membership site currently and everything you put into it in the future. Now, if you want to give people access to certain courses or certain types of content, you'll have to create a new membership level. So press the Create Membership Level button. And let's go ahead and create a new one. We'll call this one Gold. Now, you can use any name you wish. It's up to you. And now it's time to check off which courses or blog categories or add-ons get access to this membership level. For this example, I'm going to uncheck everything except for my magic course number one. We'll click Create Membership Level. And as you can see, here it is. It has a SKU. There's the name of the membership level. And there's the allowed courses, categories, and add-ons that are available to it. Let's go ahead and create one more. We'll call this one Silver Plan. This time I'm going to uncheck this course and I'm going to leave this blog category enabled. We'll click Create. And let me go ahead and do one more. And this time I'm going to call this one, um, I don't know, we'll call this one General. It doesn't really matter. But this time I'm going to keep the PDF downloads checked and I'm going to enable the Facebook Group Sync tool. Now we're going to press Create once again. So now what I've done is I've created a gold membership level, a silver membership level, and a general membership level. Each of these membership levels all has different access to content. If someone were to get access to the gold level, they would only see the magic course number one. If someone gains access to the silver level, they would only see the PDF downloads. And if someone gains access to the general level, they would see the PDF downloads, but they would also get access to the Facebook group sync tool. So, to actually assign these to payment plans, let's go back to Stripe and let's go ahead and create a new payment plan. This time I'm going to go ahead and let's do a one-time charge. We'll call this uh, access to the gold plan. Gain access to my best-selling course. Give it a description. Give it a price. Let's say we want to charge $97 for this. And now you'll see we have advanced options that weren't there before. We can make sure everyone that buys this goes into the default all category, which once again gives the users access to everything that's available in your membership site now and ongoing. Or we can uncheck that and we can give members access to only certain membership levels like the gold plan. Or we can also check multiple levels at once. It's totally up to you. So for this example, we're going to only select the gold plan and then we're going to create or press create plan. Okay, so now we have a brand new plan down here. It's called access to the gold plan. The levels that are included in this plan are the gold plan that I created. Here is the amount and once again I can get links and I can send this plan privately to anybody that I wish. So that's how easy it is to create membership levels and assign those levels to plans. Now one thing you can do and you should know is if you need to edit a plan, you can edit a plan you can scroll down and you can change the membership levels whenever you like. It's totally up to you if you want to do that. And sometimes it's required. If you ever add new courses or new content, 
you either have to update the membership level by adding those new courses to the membership level, thus affecting all members that are using that membership level, or you need to edit the payment plan and assign more membership levels to that payment plan, thus affecting people who have purchased that plan. So that's how it works. That's how you can use this brand new feature down here and unlock hidden options available to you. Very, very simple. Let's go on to the next video.